Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a numbers or a serial number in your PDF. So in this example PDF I have, uh, there are five line items here. I would like to add numbers here according to the number of line items. This is similar to this example. So there is serial number, description, and based on how many line items there, it will also follow the serial number. All right, let's get started. To get started of this, in order to achieve this similar to the serial number, we need to identify what is the child table. So in this example here, uh, I am using, in order to generate this PDF, I am using a parent and a child table. So this is the database. So this is the order which is the parent, and this is the order line item, which is the child of this table. So in order to achieve that, we need to add in our child table, which is in our PDF, or this, this line items, we need to add a column which is related to date and time. So I'm going to insert one column here. So let's say after this order ID, let's say I'm going to name this updated or let's say updated or let's say updated on all right then let's regenerate this table in AppSheet. give me a second okay so let's regenerate the table let me just zoom a bit okay okay let's regenerate all right so it's already in the app. So let's uh, make this as date and time. And uh, just enable the seconds. Don't check this one. And we don't need to show this actually. All right. The next uh, thing we're going to do is to add a virtual column in the child table. So I'm going to name this SR. Let's say SR number. All right, so SR number and the formula will be count. We're going to use the expression count, then select. We're going to select the child table, which is the order line item. What is the key column there is line item ID. So the condition will be, we're going to use here two condition, comma, then and. And then here in the, let me save this one first, in the, uh, Parent table, we have what we call, I mean, in the in the child table, we have what we call reference type here. So the order ID can be also found in order table. So here, we need to make this as a reference. So the order ID, so here is the order ID is equals to this row that order ID. Then another condition is that the column that we just added, which is updated on, is more than or equals to this row that updated on. All right. And let's close this expression. And make sure, uh, since you're using a PDF, just to let you know that order ID make sure it's part of yeah because you are uh, generating lists from the i mean from uh you're using the parent and child re relationship okay all right so we added it and then we do need to show this actually the serial number or sr number save it and let's after this let's go to our template so in our template i already created the automation to create a pdf and let's view the template. So right now, this is the PDF, how it's created. Let's modify this. And I'm going to add uh, one column here before the product. All right. So let's insert here one def. Okay. So I'm going to name this SR, SR number, for example. Similar to this, what we are seeing right now here. And then we're going to use the expression. I'm going to move this and just replace this by 
product so I'm going just to remove this here since this is pretty working so product that product name so here let's use here let's insert after the start so order by okay then close parenthesis in order uh, for you to to see it clearly I'm going to expand this for the meantime okay related order line items let's remove this so this is the virtual column of uh, reference all right so related order items uh, related order line items so this is we're going to sort it by sr number so as you as you can see here the column that we created in the child table sr number okay so sr number and we're going to sort it by false meaning ascending so from one two three or a b c d like that then after that we're going to close this expression put this and then what will be the value in this particular column so i'm going to put your sr number all right and then this is the formula then we can just minimize this okay and that's it all right and then in order to test this pdf let me say first if there are errors we're going to go to the automation and we have what we called here here these three dots let's test and we can find out if there are errors in our template so meaning there is no error all right so let's create a new sample let's refresh the app all right so i'm going to create a new order so this is the customer and line item. Let's say I'm going to add this time maybe three line items. So this is the one. Example is the quantity. One more. Let's say one and then let's save. All right. So let me just sync this. All right. So this is the... Uh, the order so this is this was the old one if you see there is no but the new one now let's test if it's updated all right so you can see here oh there's an error here actually so three 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 serial three uh, serial three serial three i don't know what's going on let me see what's going on in okay so there is no updated on okay so it's not updating here i guess we missed something sorry all right so let's try date and time there should be actually an initial value of now okay sorry that's why it's not coming there okay so let's try again all right let's try again as you can see in the database there is no time here so that's that's mainly the error okay let's try to add again let's say i'm going to add here okay this one another one let's say i'm going to add three items all right let's save all right Okay, so this is the uh, latest uh, order that we created. So let's review now the PDF, yeah? All right. All right. Okay, here we go. As you can see here, so there is now one, two, three. All right. So there are items here, one, two, and three. And if it's like, too wide you can just adjust the actually the this and you know sorry this one okay so let what happens if I'm going to add some items here so I'm going to add some items just going to add new here let's make it four okay save all right and then let's view again the PDF now this this was the old PDF so it's up to three now I added an item 
Okay. Okay, now one, two, three, and four, as you can see here. All right, see? Let's try another one. Let's add another one, another entries. Let's say I'm going just to make two, two items on it, two line items. All right, and save. Let's just wait for them to, uh, for the app to sync. The reason why, if you click directly this one, it's giving you an error because the PDF is not yet generated. So ideally, uh, you can sync it. You can have a trigger uh, for sync in order for you to avoid this kind of issue. Now it's okay. As you can see here, so here we go. It has now a serial number here. So you can adjust the spacing here accordingly in your template. As you can see here, it's really big, right? So you can adjust it actually. So it's all right. So this is how to to add numbers on the PDF. All right. So if you learned something in this video, don't forget to subscribe or comments if you have any questions. And thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video.